On to Belgium now, where that country has demanded answers from the British intelligence agency, the GCHQ, over allegations that hacked its national telecom provider. The GCHQ faces allegations of infiltrating the IT system of Belgium's dominant telecom provider, Belgicom. The charges are based on revelations and documents leaked by CIA whistleblower Edward Snowden. It is claimed that the GCHQ placed a virus in Belgicom's network. Prosecutors in Brussels are now investigating the case. In addition, the European Parliament is examining the activities of the GCHQ. The British intelligence agency is also facing a legal challenge in European Union courts over charges its surveillance programs have breached the privacy of millions of people across Britain and Europe. However, London says the EU does not have the authority to investigate. Well, to discuss that a bit further, and I joined with Mr. Mark Glenn, who is an author and journalist, and he's joining us live now from Idaho. Now, I want to pick up on that last part. London says the European Union does not have the authority to investigate this. That seems quite shocking, doesn't it? Well, it sounds to me like it's an admission of guilt and that uh, London is uh, worried about any type of legal proceedings that might take place. Notice that London did not say, we're not bugging uh, our, our allies, we're not listening in. They simply said that there's no legal authority to, to press any kinds of charges. Uh, what I find interesting about this is that uh, the two countries who are principally involved in this business of listening in not only on their own citizens, but on the citizens of other countries, are the United States and Great Britain, both of whom uh, are at the top of the list in terms of Israeli f infiltration of their telecommunication systems. Certainly, uh, the British and the Americans have been absolutely at the top of the list in supporting and suckling this terrorist state uh, in the Middle East known as Israel. And what I also find interesting is the fact that Belgium and some of these other countries uh, in Northern Europe are principally the countries who have been pushing back against Israel in terms of the West Bank settlements, in terms of uh, raising boycotts uh, in order to punish Israel or at least to register an official statement that uh, they are not pleased with uh, the expansion of settlements, and that these are the countries that are principally being spied upon uh, by, uh, in this case, Great Britain, but we have to also assume that the United States as well. So, so how much of this is being directed uh, by Israel, given the fact that, as I said, some of these countries in Northern Europe, Belgium being one of them, have uh, in recent years come out and have been very vocal in their opposition to uh, Israel's uh, uh, illegal expansion of settlements in the West Bank. Now, Mr. Glenn, you know, the argument goes that all countries do intelligence gathering, so what is really the big deal? How do you respond to that? Well, the, obviously that is true. Uh, and I think that this is a lesson that should be uh, kept in mind. Yes, all countries do uh, maintain uh, files on other countries, but this type of what we would call aggressive spying, let's put it this way, if it were, uh, if it were another country, if it were Iran, for example, that was spying on uh, Belgium in this kind of an official capacity, uh, we wouldn't be seeing the kinds of diplomatic language being used here. We would be talking about expanding sanctions against Iran. We would be hearing how this is a, a very aggressive and uh, maybe even talking about, you know, that this is an act of war for Iran to be spying on a country such as Belgium. So, so yes, it is true. Countries keep files in other countries. But I think that we have to pl uh, plug into this uh, situation the fact that there is this double standard that exists if it were any other country besides Great Britain doing this. And as I said, especially if it were Iran or some other country that is on the list of uh, unapproved uh, countries, then uh, we would be hearing a lot more about it. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. But of course, as always, we do appreciate your insight. That was Mark Lenz speaking just live from Idaho.